Hello, Brian Knowlton back with another super cool slide rule tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to test a hot service igniter to see if it's good. A hot service igniter is used to ignite the gas in most modern furnaces. The way it works is electricity is supplied to each lead. The element here gets red hot and begins to glow. At the same time, the gas valve is energized allowing gas to flow across the hot service igniter. This ignites the gas. To test the igniter, we set our tester to ohms resistance as seen here. The ohms resistance should be anywhere from 30 to 60 ohms depending on the manufacturer of the igniter. If when tested you see no reading on your tester or your dial doesn't move if you have an analog gauge, this will indicate the igniter is bad and must be replaced. Please keep in mind that the igniter is extremely brittle, so take extra care when installing it and guard against bumping it, and do not touch the igniter with your fingers. This concludes our tutorial, but please stay tuned as I introduce you to something guaranteed to save you time, and saving you time saves you money. Thanks for watching. Hello, I'd like to take a minute to introduce you to the coolest tool in the HVAC industry. Historically, technicians have carried four or five different slide rules. You have one for R22 one for R410A, one for metal duct sizing, one for flexible duct sizing, and yet others for diagnostics or troubleshooting. Thankfully those days are gone. This one tool will allow you to charge a system with R22 or R410A and either the superheater subcooling method. The back cover contains required formulas, it has capacitors rules and practices, a wet bulb conversion chart, how to perform computations on series or parallel circuits, an electric heat strip guide, a complete system troubleshooting diagnostic chart, and how to troubleshoot compressors in TXV. Inside is packed with even more information. It performs sizing of both metal and flexible duct. It has the only direct reading conversion from smooth metal to insulation line metal we've ever seen. The majority of technicians have never been taught that if the insulation is on the inside of the ductwork, you cannot size it with a regular duct calculator. It has step-by-step -step directions for determining airflow through a gas furnace, electric furnace, or an air conditioning unit. It has pressure drop multipliers for ductwork, as well as recommended velocities. And finally, the scanning of this QR code gives instant access to over 100 tutorials to assist the technician with every test and repair imaginable. You owe it to yourself, as well as your customers, to own this tool. It's less than $20, including shipping. The SuperCool will save you countless hours of frustration when troubleshooting units. Log on to our website and get one today, and I promise you will be a better technician tomorrow. And remember, every technician is only as good as their tools. Thanks for watching.